So you've probably heard me yammer on and on about PNG sequences. I love them. But only a few programs like Adobe Premiere Pro and Sony Vegas will let you import a PNG sequence as a usable video or image format. I use Camtasia Studio for my tutorial videos, which doesn't accept PNG sequences. So I convert my PNG sequence into a transparent MOV file by using the free exe file called FFmpeg. This name might sound familiar if you watch the Audacity tutorial set. I only know how this works on a Windows computer because we'll need to use command prompt. I don't have a Mac computer, so I don't know how terminal differs from command prompt in terms of commands. According to an article that I found about doing it in terminal, it looks like it's the same, but I can't say for sure. I've linked to it below this video. So first, you need to export your scribe as a PNG sequence. For this example, we'll use this butterfly image. Click on the Publish button at the top of the main project window. Then click on the Create a Video File icon and choose Image Sequence PNG as the format. Set it to 1080 Full HD and set the frame rate to 30. Next, click on the Save Path box and save it in a folder on your desktop. We want to save it somewhere that's not that difficult to navigate to in terms of how many folders you have to open to get to it. You'll see why in a bit. I'll make a new folder called Butterfly and save it in there. Click on the check mark and let the PNG sequence render. While it's rendering, let's get the ffmpeg file that we need from the internet. Open a web browser and go to ffmpeg.org. Go to the downloads page. Hover over the Windows icon and click on Windows Builds. There are different files for a 32-bit system and a 64-bit system. To figure out which one you need, right-click on your computer icon on your desktop and click on Properties. Or go to your control panel and click on the System icon. Look for a system type and it will tell you if you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. I'm running a 64-bit system, so I'll download the 64-bit static version of FFmpeg. You'll need an unzipping program like WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-zip to unzip the .7z file we just downloaded. I use WinRAR on my computer. Go to the folder that you saved the ffmpeg file to and unzip it. The only file that we need from this folder is the ffmpeg.exe file, which is located in the bin folder. Copy this file into the sequence folder of your VideoScribe PNG sequence. So now we have the ffmpeg exe file in the same folder as the collection of PNG images that make up our butterfly scribe. It's time to open command prompt. To open it, search for the letter cmd and open up cmd.exe or hold the Windows key on your keyboard and hit the R key and type in cmd in the run box. Or just search for command prompt and you're good to go. There are a bunch of ways to get to it. The Mac equivalent to this is called terminal if there are any Mac users still watching. You can use Spotlight to search for it or go to your Applications Utilities folder. Okay, so we have command prompt open and our ffmpeg.exe file is in the folder with our PNG sequence. There are basically only two commands that you need to know. The first is dir. If you type this in and hit the enter key, it will display all of the files and folders currently in that directory or location. Next is the cd command. You use this to navigate to a different folder. Right now we're looking at c users loop lap, which is my username. 
Since I saved the PNG sequence to the desktop and in the butterfly folder, I'm going to need to navigate to that folder before we can make the transparent MOV file. So I'll type in CD desktop and hit the enter key. We're now in the desktop folder. If I type in DIR now, it will display everything currently on my desktop. We know that the butterfly folder is on my desktop, so I'll type in CD butterfly to go into my butterfly folder. If I type in DIR now, it will show the sequence folder that Videoscribe created when it exported the PNG sequence. So one more time, let's type in CD sequence to go into the sequence folder. Type in DIR and hit enter and you'll see all of the PNGs of our butterfly scribe as well as the ffmpeg.exe file we put in there. If you open the wrong folder or need to go back for any reason, type in cd space period period. You can see that we navigated out of the sequence folder and back into the butterfly folder. I'll include a text file with this information but you're going to have to type this in and hit enter. The dash i part tells ffmpeg what file names to use. The dash r part sets the frame rate for the video. And the dash v codec part sets the codec, which we set to copy since our files are already transparent PNGs. The last part is the file name that the completed file will output to. If we look in the folder, we now have a final vid.mov file. It looks messy on its own, but if we import it into Camtasia, you can now put it over any color, image, or video. Save the ffmpeg.exe file somewhere that is easily accessible since you're going to need a copy of it every time you create a new PNG sequence. You can just move the same ffmpeg file to every new folder, but that's too much of a hassle for me to keep track of where it is, so I just create a new copy every time, move the mov file to a different folder, and just delete the rest of the folder. So that's it for this video. It's a little technical, but it's pretty much a necessity until Camtasia lets us import PNG sequences directly. Like I mentioned earlier, you can bypass this entire process if you do your editing in Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. I hope that this video was helpful and I'll talk to you again soon. This is Luke signing off. Thanks for watching.